Oh, how's it going, guys? Pomp is here to watch you, Pomp Gaming, and it's that time of year again, again, again. It's Christmas! And what a better way to celebrate Christmas than being by yourself and spending a lot of money on useless plastic sh Which has already been taken care of. The packages should be here soon. Well, would you look at that? It's a message coming from my MV, my massage vision. There was a typo. Um, pineapple. Well, you look at that, it's the bank. We noticed that you've been spending a lot of money lately, and you just found out through a mailbox. box. But it's the holidays! Can't you let this slide? Unfortunately, we can't do that. Please repay your debit in 12 hours, or else all of your stuff will be taken away. No! Please make the right decision. Well, I'm f I didn't know buying useless stuff on Christmas would piss off the bank. Well, don't worry, I've got a plan. You see, I'm going to be selling my brand new DVD called Pineapple Talks About Wii Accessories. This is just a prototype box, in case you guys were wondering. But hopefully this will sell well and calm the bank down. But in the meantime, here you guys go. Here's an exclusive look of Pineapple Talks About Wii Accessories. I'm sorry! A Nintendo Wii. If you don't own or at least heard of a Wii, where do you live? The Wii was one of the most revolutionary consoles during its time. It was fun, creative, original, and best of all, it appealed to all ages. Even your dog! He chewed up my Wii remote. The Wii was a massive success, being able to bring in people who have never played a video game before with its simple controls, while still intriguing regular gamers. The Wii was notorious for its use of motion controls, which attempted to make you feel like you were in the game. A great example of this was Wii Sports, a tech demo for the Wii that showcased the Wii's motion controls. You swung the controller and the game would pick up your motion. Wow! It's like I'm actually in the game! If you wanted to feel like you were in the game more than you already did, then just buy a bunch of plastic for it. Wii accessories, making your gaming experience that much better while also being garbage. Sometimes. You see, there are three categories of Wii accessories, with category 1 being accessories that are required to play the game, Category 2, accessories that aren't required to use when playing. And Category 3, just being fucking plastic. There are a lot of accessories for the Wii, maybe a little too much. The main selling points for these were either to add more realism to your gaming experience, or were just required to use in order to play the game like Wii Motion Plus. This little thing plugs into the bottom of your Wii remote and it allows more complex motion to be interpreted than the, what the Wii remote could have already done. The only downside was that you'd have to recalibrate the Wii Remote from time to time, but other than that, it really did enhance the motion controls. Later down the line, some games required you to use Wii Motion Plus, like The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, Wii Play Motion, and Wii Sports Resort. The only problem is that you couldn't use any of the other accessories while using Wii Motion Plus, until in 2010 that is. In 2010, Nintendo decided to make the Wii Remotes have built-in Wii Motion Plus, and I gotta say, I like this a lot. I can now finally use my plastic that I bought for this thing. Another accessory that plugged into the bottom of the Wii Remote is the Nunchuck, if you even consider this an accessory as it's used with the majority of the Wii's library. The Nunchuck was made for games that had you move 360 degrees like Super Mario Galaxy, or it was used for other random functions. The Nunchuck has a joystick, a C button, and a Z button. Also a fun fact that I didn't know about was that the Nunchuck has motion controls inside of it. Though it's not as good as the Wii Remotes, it's still pretty cool. I know, how could I have not known this? The Wii Classic and Classic Controller Pro is another accessory that is plugged into the bottom of your Wii Remote. The Wii Classic Controller was mainly used for games that you got on the Virtual Console. The only problem is that it's not the most comfortable controller, as the layout is pretty much together. That's where the Wii Classic Controller Pro comes in, fixing the issues that the Wii Classic Controller had. This controller has now grips and has far better space layout. I'd see these being used for games like Smash Bros. Brawl, because why would anyone want to play that game with a stick? Unfortunately, I don't have these, but would love to in the future, if the bank didn't hate me. So today, I thought, why not take a look at these accessories that I own? There's not much I have, but there's a decent amount. Up first is the most well-known accessory being the Wii Wheel. You put your Wii remote into this wheel and boom, steering wheel. This accessory was bundled in with Mario Kart Wii. Can you guess what console this game was for? There's nothing else to this. Again, it's just a plastic wheel-shaped holder for your Wii remote. But at least it looks like I now have a driver's license soon. Also, did you know that there was a Wii Wheel made by Nerf? I thought they made weapons of mass destruction, not car parts. 
Up next is another well-known accessory, the Wii Zapper. This hunk of plastic can transform your Wii remote and nunchuck into this. And I've gotta say, this isn't fun to use. You know how when you use the remote and nunchuck without an accessory and how you can move the controllers in any way you want? Well, does the Wii Zapper not do that for you? It's very uncomfortable and I'm not used to having the remote and nunchuck being moved all at once. The only thing you could get out of this is if someone came in your room and were like, Hey, uh, what you doing there, buddy? Telling people. And on top of that, it's very difficult to put on and once you finish putting it on, it's been a week to me, where have you been? Speaking of guns, Aw, oh, hell yeah. This is the, I don't know what it's called, so I'm gonna call it the Wii Pistol. Don't believe me? Check its birth certificate. This makes your Wii Remote feel like a gun. There's nothing else to talk about with this one, as this is self-explanatory. Can't wait to kill a duck with this. Now let's move on from guns to guitars. Great transition, I know. Oh, hello, pineapple. Oh, come on, this is my favorite part. I hope that you're still thinking about paying your debit. Yep, still trying and hoping I won't lose everything. You don't have that much time, Pineapple. The clock is ticking. Oh, I know. I don't know if you know that I'm going to break into the bank if all things don't go well. You know I'm still here and you can hear me, right? Oh crap, wait! I have two of these guitars, one of them being bundled in with the game Guitar Hero, and the other one I'm not so sure about. I mean, it made sense for Guitar Hero to come to the Wii. The use of motion controls was a great idea, especially for a game that simulates the idea that you're playing a guitar or the drums. In order to play Guitar Hero or any game that uses instruments, you had to use one of the, what I like to call the instrumental accessories, accessories that replicate instruments. And surprisingly, this works really well. I played a lot of Guitar Hero when I was younger and had a lot of fun with it and still do to this day. Look, Mom, I can play Bohemian Rhapsody. Get on my level. There are two ways to play with the guitar accessory. This way or this way. I don't know how to describe it other than use all your fingers or your thumb. I mainly used the thumb method because it was a lot simpler and easier. I wasn't ready to use my fingers yet, I was just a child. And there's also a joystick on the bottom which I think is pretty cute. I haven't noticed it until now, but still cute. And last but not least, I have... I should have saved that for my college tuition. Another category of Wii accessories are the bundles, being a bunch of accessories in one package. Here I have the Sports Pack 8 in 1 for a Wii Sports Resort. For Wii. By CT Digital. Wii Motion Plus Compatible? That's me! This includes, you guessed it, 8 accessories. And look at these people, I can tell that I didn't waste my money. 8 Jet Ski Handle Dashboards? Oh my god! Oh wait, I read that wrong. Opening it up. I see disappointment. Have you paid your W yet, Pineapple? God damn it, can I just finish my DVD? Hey, I'm just reminding you. You know what this is from, do you? Yes, I'm working on it, okay, and you leave! Oh, no. Oh. All I see is foam and plastic. How is it supposed to make me feel like I'm in the game? This bundle also comes with a plastic case, in case you don't have a jacket for your Wii Remote, which I think is nice. But try finding it. First is the plastic sword attachment. Don't look at me, they said it. This is used for swordplay mode in Wii Sports Resort, if you couldn't tell what these accessories were for. So, what does this do? Well, it makes my dog freak out for one. This really has no value, it's just a plastic attachment and that's it. And it's also kind of small. Next, we have the golf club attachment. Again, it's very small and doesn't really make me feel like I'm playing golf more than how the Wii Remote without the attachment does. And so far, I could tell that this was a big mistake. Next is the bow attachment. This one kind of makes me feel like I'm actually using a bow. At least it does a better job than the other two so far. Nothing else to say about this one. Up next is the rowboat pedal attachment. These names just roll right off the tongue, don't they? Does this make me feel like I'm paddling a boat? No, it makes me feel like I'm using a spatula. Next is the wakeboard attachment. I kind of like this one. It's the same thing with the bow attachment. It kind of feels like I'm wakeboarding. Next is the ping pong paddle attachment. It's just a ping pong paddle. Again, there's really nothing to say about this. It's self-explanatory. Up next is the frisbee attachment. I hate this one. You can't throw the frisbee or else your TV will break. Dang it! And that really bothers me. Last but not least, we have the jet ski dashboard attachment. This one's all right. It reminds me of the Wii wheel. It doesn't really do much, but it's not horrible. Also, I thought this was for a motorcycle. And that is all the Wii accessories that I own. Of course, there are a lot of other Wii accessories out there, but unfortunately, I'm broke. But hopefully this DVD sells well so I can pay my debt to the bank and don't lose everything. 
Wow. What a masterpiece. Am I right? That must have sold tremendously. Oh. Only two people have bought it? No. I... I thought it would sell... Well... Uh... Welp. That's it. I suppose I have no other options but to... Uh, cancel the show. I'm ruined. Well, that must be the bank. Hey, pineapple. Long time no see. Ethan? What are you doing here? Well, I watched your DVD, and it looks like you really need help. With buying useless plastic or struggling to pay my debt? Your debt. There are therapists that can help you with your buying useless plastic issues. It's over for me, man. My plan has failed, and now the bank's gonna take everything from me. Some happy holidays for me. Here, take this. Wow. Thank you, but... But why? You see, the holidays isn't about spending money or time being alone. It's about being there for your friends and family when in need. You really shouldn't have. Hey, it's Christmas, and you don't deserve to feel miserable. Just don't buy the useless plastic again. Yeah, I won't. <laughs> don't worry. And if there's anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, wait, don't, don't you want to, like, hang out, like, right here or something? Oh, I got other business to attend to. Alright. Merry Christmas, Pineapple. Y yeah, you too.